guys, I hope everyone's doing well and staying safe. My name's Lily Mai, I'm 18 years old and I've been jumping for nine years now. So I actually got interested in jump rope through the after school program. So I'm really excited that you guys are able to experience what I did that made me love jump rope so much. So I'm just gonna tell you guys a little bit about my jump rope background. So I've competed in regional, national, and world tournaments. I actually got first in the nation and third in the world for my single rope routine. That's one of my all time favorite events but I love how Jump Rope is able to focus on individual events and really focus on self-improvement, but there's also the teamwork aspect. So double dutch, pairs double dutch, group routines. I love how you're able to make the Jump Rope community really like a second family. I've also been on the USA All-Stars Jump Rope team. So what that is, is that's 20 jumpers around the nation and we get together, we travel, we perform for different people, and we also teach kids. And I love how I'm able to share that with you guys. So not only am I gonna teach you guys tricks, but you guys are also gonna teach me tricks. So I know that sounds crazy, but even after nine years and being on level five, these tricks are so challenging and I'm still learning. And jump rope is such a creative sport that everybody has their own unique twist. So I wanna learn from you guys, learn your jumping styles, and hopefully we can grow together as jumpers. So I wanna show you guys some of my favorite tricks and my combos. So I'm gonna play some music because you gotta jump with, jump with music. So let's get to it. They say, oh my God, I see the way you shine. Take your hand, my dear, and bless them both in mine. You know you stop me. Hey guys, all right, I hope you can hear me okay. I'm playing some music because I love jumping to music. But go ahead and get your rope and we're gonna warm up. So I'm just gonna start by doing some forward jumps, all right? Get comfortable, get at a good pace, all right? If you need to go slower, go slower. If you wanna go faster, go for it, all right? All right, so warm up with some jumps. I'm gonna do some double side swings, all right? You can go ahead and follow along. I just like starting with some easy level one tricks, all right? Get your body moving, all right? Get back to the basic. So, I'm gonna do some side straddles now, all right? All right, and how about some high knees, okay? So try to bring your knees up as high as you can. These really stretch my hips really nice. I like to do them a lot, all right? Um, now I'm gonna do some skiers. Side side, all right? Okay, cool. So those are some good forward moves. We're gonna do all that backwards, okay? So I like to do backwards because it kind of challenges the way your body works. All right, double side swings. You get so used to doing forwards that you kind of forget what it's like, all right? To do the same tricks in a different way. So do a couple of those side swings. Now back to your side straddles. I always mess up on these backwards because I'm lazy and picking up my feet, all right? I wanna make sure that I turn really nice and well. All right, next I had high knees. So make sure to keep turning your wrists. Turn nice and big. Bring your knees up high, okay? Bring them up as high as you can, okay? Now some skiers, side to side. Make sure to keep your rope turning. Woo! Good warm up, guys. I'm already tired. I'm sweating already. I don't know about you, but let's go ahead and cross our arms nice and big. Give yourself, give your, give your, I'm so tired. I can't talk. Give yourself a nice big hug. Really stretch those shoulders, okay? <laughs> Woo! All right, so now I'm gonna reach up, touch your toes. Okay. Um, if you guys need a little soft bend in the knees, that's totally okay. Don't restrict your body too much, okay? You just wanna stretch nice and big. I like to grab my elbows and just, you know, rock side to side. I can also stretch my back that way. Um, another thing I like to do is combine active and stagnant stretches, okay? Because after you warm up, you don't wanna be in one position too long, okay? So some active stretching, reach to the other side, all right? Reach your toe, 
as much as you can, okay? Get a nice little warm up with your arms, legs all moving together. All right, now I'm gonna hug my left knee, okay? Try to balance, hug it in as tight as you can. All right, and what I like to do is I actually like to pull my leg out, really stretch my hip. Okay, now let's switch to the other side. Oop, this is my bad side. Try to balance. All right, pull, 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 pull in, really stretch your hip. And again, pull out. Whew, okay, now I'm gonna do a flamingo on my left leg first. Try to balance, okay? This one's a little easier for me. Really stretch and pull your knee back so you can stretch your quad. Take a couple deep breaths. I always forget to breathe, <laughs> okay? After that, switch. Okay. Make sure you go as much as you can, okay? If you can't pull your foot to your butt, that's okay. Just stretch as much as you can. All right, so that was stagnant. Let's do some butt kickers just to give them a little nice stretch while moving, okay? Good. Now I'm gonna take a seat on the floor. Right, we're gonna do some floor stretches. I'm just gonna do a butterfly. Put my feet together, go as far as I can. All right, I'm definitely not as flexible as I used to be, and that's because I didn't stretch. All right, stretching is so important. I was always so lazy about it, all right, but now I stretch almost every day. I do stretch every day. I just try to stretch every morning, okay? So, it's really good because stretching over a long period of time just helps you get more flexible over time, okay? So now I'm gonna put my leg, my left leg out, make a four, okay? Try to reach over. And you really wanna stretch your side, all right? You can even reach over like, a, I always feel like a ballerina when I do this, reach over, all right? And then switch, other side. All right, try to reach with both hands at first. And then I like to do the little ballerina stretch over your head. All right. All right, last stretch I like to do is mountain climber. All right, so I'm gonna go, put one of my heels to the floor, okay? And then take a nice good stretch. If you need to keep a little bend in your knee, that's okay. Um, I just like to really stretch my calf for this. I'm gonna switch, all right? Get a nice big stretch. Make sure to breathe. I always forget to breathe when I'm upside down, all right? Now, back to our active stretching. I'm gonna do some heel to toes, all right, pretend I'm running. All right, and then seal. Reach really nice and big, using both your core and your back. And I like to just like twist side to side. Sometimes that cracks my back. I hear a couple cracks, okay? All right, that was it. Okay, because we did those ground movements, make sure to shake your wrist back out, okay? Shake your ankles, shake your body, all right? That was the warm up, let's get going. Hey guys, so we're gonna be starting an arm workout now. It's gonna be less than five minutes, super quick, but you're gonna feel it, all right? All in your arms and your shoulders, okay? So no actually jumping in this, okay? but it's gonna help you get really good at the arm movement so you can get quicker at speed, or right, just get better at tricks in general because it helps with that rotation. So I'm gonna start off with both my handles in my right hand, okay? And we're gonna start with forward turning, all right? I'm just gonna get my timer up in 30 seconds. Ready, set, go. All right, you wanna go as fast as you can, all right? And see how I'm drawing my elbow in? I want you guys super fast, okay? So. If your arm is out here, pull your elbow in, okay? It should be by your side, super duper quick, all right? See how I'm just moving my wrist, okay? From the elbow down, okay? No extra arm movements, my top is still, okay? My top body, my legs aren't moving, I like to keep a little bend as if I'm doing speed, okay? So super duper quick, go, go, go. All right, and switch, left arm now, and go. No breaks, okay? So again, I wanna go as fast as I can, draw my elbow in, my left arm, since my right arm is dominant. My left arm is a little weaker, okay? 
but I'm gonna try to keep that movement still from my elbow down, okay? My wrist is doing all the work, okay? So, I saw that nice soft bend in my knees, all right? Top body is still. Keep going, keep going, keep going. And you wanna turn your wrist out. See how it hit my feet at first? That's because my wrist is too far in. All right, now we're gonna switch right hand and go backwards. Ready, set, go. Go, go, go. As fast as you can. See, this is really helpful because I've been wanting to get better at backwards tricks, right? So I wanna make sure that I get this movement really solid, really well, nice and down. All right, ooh, I can already feel in my arms. I bet you guys can too. So, I wanna go super fast, super fast. Go, go, go. Almost there. Keep it in your wrist. My arm is super stiff and burning. And now we're going to the left side. Ready, set, go. Again, again. Backwards, all right. I'm looking at my elbow, making sure that it's by my side as much as possible. I'm only hurting my wrist and forearm, legs, body, still, still, okay? Keep going, keep going. Fast, fast, fast. Ooh. My right arm is burning. I wanna get that nice same burn on my left arm, okay? Go, go, go. Left arm is definitely a little harder for me. All right, good job, guys. Now, we are gonna move on to helicopter, okay? That's when you bring it straight over your head, okay? Go in whichever direction you want because we're gonna do both. Ready, set, go. Arm straight over. See how my shoulder is nice and straight above my head? I'm only using my wrist, okay? Whew, that wrist motion is gonna get your forearm burning like crazy, okay? So, arm up, ooh, ooh, it's really tensing up. But my shoulder is nice and still. I'm not using my whole arm like this, right? I just wanna keep it nice and tight. Tiny, tiny circles, okay? Ooh, keep going, guys. Almost there, almost there, almost there. And then after this, all right, switch. Bring your arm down, take a little break, but we're gonna go circles the other way, okay? So whichever way you started with, you're gonna do the other side now. Keep going. Turn, turn, turn as fast as you can. All right, still trying to keep my arm up, okay? Don't take a break. I know you guys are tired, but you're doing so well. All right, man, this is when you can switch to your left hand, okay? Whichever way you want, all right? Ooh, I'm gonna try not to hit my tree. Move over to the side. My arm is still super high, and only my wrist is doing the work. All right? This is really helpful because you wanna build up your forearm muscle. That's what's gonna help you go super crazy fast in speed, okay? So again, wrist is doing all the work. Wrist, wrist, wrist. I'm gonna try to keep my shoulder nice and tight, nice above my head. Whew. And super quick break before we go. Other side, go, go, go. All right, so that little break, you just were bringing your shoulder down for a little quick breather, but this is the last one, guys. So I want you to push as much as you can. Whew. See how I'm struggling, guys? But you can do it. Keep that wrist turning. My forearm is burning. Push, push, push. I still have my body nice and straight. I'm not gonna try to arch one way or the other. Ooh. All right, and I'm gonna keep my body straight. And that was it. Oh, okay, put your rope down. My arms are burning, but I want you guys to stretch it out a little bit. Palms out, palms down, okay? And just do some circles. Stretch those forearms after you don't wanna be stu super stiff, okay? Stretch, stretch, stretch. Good job, guys. That was a great one. All right, guys, so let me go ahead and show you one of my favorite tricks as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a cross. Let go of that rope that is under. I'm gonna pull, whoop, hit the tree. But it's gonna be a rope release. Let me do it one more time. So catch, let go, pull, and catch, okay? So, some important things with this is you wanna make sure that the cross under is the leg you use, okay? So, that is because when you're using your leg to kick out and pull the rope up, it has to be the same side, right? So, for me, 
I use my left arm under and my left leg to catch. That way, so when I let go, I can pull and kick at the same time, all right? So if I was doing it right, I would put my right under, let go, right leg, pull and kick, right? Okay, so make sure you guys don't pull super hard or else it's gonna go flying over your head. But it's super easy, super fun, and you can always spice it up by if I let go, I do this, I can do a turn after, all right? Or if I did it, I could change directions like this, and I can go backwards and turn to the sides. You can do whatever you want with this. Go ahead and have fun. Okay, so this next trick is gonna be a rope wrap type of thing. So what I'm gonna do is, I'll show it to you first. I'm gonna do cross, under, and a turn or anything you want. I could even just do cross, side, back to forward, side swing out. Okay, so this trick is really good if let's say you're tired and you want to take a break, but you still want to keep your mo rope moving, do some creative things. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a cross. I'm gonna start with a cross. It's gonna be the one that is under is the side you step through. So if that's confusing, I'm gonna go ahead and show you. Um, as you can see, my right arm is under the cross. That means I'm gonna step my right leg through, okay? If my left leg, if I wanted to step my left leg through, I would have to have my left arm under the cross, okay? So how this trick works is I'm just gonna do a cross in front of me. I'm gonna take a step with that foot. I'm gonna bring my opposite arm, the one that is on top now, around my body side swing and step through. That's it, super easy. You're just trying to get your rope to change directions a little bit and manipulate the turns. So again, I'm just gonna do a cross. Right arm under means right leg step through. I'm gonna bring my left all the way around my body. Side swing out and step through. Okay, so go ahead and give that a couple tries. Go slow at first if you need to, and then you can go super fast do some fun things after, whatever you want, okay? Okay guys, so I have another rope release for you guys. It's super fun. It might be a little tricky, all right? So, if you guys know how to do this, everyone's favorite po pose, right? You do a cross with your arms, right? So, we're gonna spice this up a little bit and I'm gonna do a rope release now. So let me show you what that looks like. I wanna make sure I don't hit my tree. I'm gonna go like here and like that. Simple wrap around, okay? So for this, I'm gonna show you guys the cross, okay? So as you guys can see, all right, this left arm is the one above, okay? Whichever arm is above means that's the one you're gonna let go and throw first. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw to the side, okay? So it can unwrap like that. And then the momentum just keeps it going. You wanna make sure your arm is still locked here so that it has leverage to come up and you can catch it. So let me do that again. Nope, let me do that again. So go into your favorite cross, all right? So again, top arm, I'm gonna throw my arm over and catch it, okay? So you wanna make sure that you throw it enough, not super hard or else it's gonna go flying over your head, but you still wanna make that nice arc around and catch, okay? So that's the rope release. I also just wanna give a really super quick recap of how to do the cross if you guys don't know how to do it. All you're gonna do is bring one arm across the other, pull the rope on top of your arm like that, and then punch through the hole. Super easy cross, okay? So again, it is one arm over the other so that you wrap it punch through okay so once you have that you can do that rope release super fun I used to always do at the beginning of my routine start off with this rope release and then go in all to go into my favorite tricks okay so there you go all right guys so we're gonna do another rope release I think these are super fun because rope releases you can just throw the rope however you want and then you just hope it comes back to you right okay so for this rope release um, if you guys ever do like helicopter, you know how you go around your head. This is super similar, but 
um, you're gonna let go and catch the rope. So what I mean by that is, I'll show you the trick first. I'm gonna go around my body, let go, catch, okay? So it's super subtle. You wanna make sure that you control the rope super well. So what I'm gonna do is I like to rope release with my left hand because my right arm is my dominant so I can turn better. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring my left arm around my body and kind of wrap like this. Okay, so see how my left arm is now behind my back? So in a slow-mo version, I would go into this motion, right? Just come into this position. I'm gonna use my right arm, keep that turn go, let go of my left and catch, okay? So the movement is really subtle. Let me show you what a guy looks like without my rope. So here I will be holding, okay, put down my rope. I have my left arm, I throw and let go, and as I bring my arm back to its regular side, I have to catch the rope, okay? So here, left, let go, right catch, okay? So small movements, all right? And at the same time, your arm, your right arm is still doing that helicopter motion, right? You're still going above your head. So let's do that step by step, around, and now we're in this position where both arms are on the same side. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna continue my right, let go of my left, and catch, okay? So sometimes people just throw it like this and they forget to move their right arm around still, okay? So, important things, make sure your right arm is still moving, your right arm still moving at the same time, and you wanna just make sure you do a quick snap back with your left to catch it, okay? So hopefully this one isn't too confusing. It's one of my favorite ones. All right, so go ahead and give that a try.